Hey guys, so before we do start our new unit, Unit 9, it's going to be on volume. Before we can talk about volume, uh, a, a three-dimensional topic, we do have to talk about area, which is a two-dimensional. It's kind of a step right before volume. Uh, so that's what we want to focus on today, just getting comfortable with basic shapes and remembering how to calculate area. First of all, again, what is area when you find area, when you calculate area, what, what are you actually finding? What does area represent? It represents the space inside. So the space inside, right? Of this rectangle how much space inside do we have to walk around uh, same thing for the area of a triangle how much space is there inside to walk around on uh, and then same thing for a circle how much space is inside uh, for me to walk on so that is what area is and we're going to be focusing on these three shapes a rectangle uh, triangle and a circle okay how do we calculate area for each specific one uh, so let's take a look at the first one here which is area uh, area of a square of a rectangle, it's the same process, uh, so I, I lumped them together here. So the area, uh, by the way, is squared units. I'll explain what that means here in a second. To find the area of a square or a rectangle, all we have to do is simply just multiply our length by our width. You, you've seen this formula probably before. Area is equal to length, right? A fancy L and then a fancy W for width. Uh, so the examples over here that we see on the right, you take area for the first rectangle, you multiply 5 times two, your length times your width. Uh, so five times two gives us 10. And the units are squared because you are multiplying meters times meter. Like when you multiply X times X, you get X to the second power. This is why we get meters squared. Same thing for the square down below, right? You take your length four and you multiply it by your width four. Well, four times four gives us 16, but because we multiplied centimeters times centimeters, think of it like X times X, we get centimeters to the second power. It's a two-dimensional shape. Uh, again, that's what it's representing. It's two-dimensional shape. We, we're looking at the space inside for both of these. Uh, the top one uh, has an area of 10 meters squared inside. That's how much space. The bottom one has 16 meters squared. So let's look at example number one here. Uh, let's just get that practice going. Find the area of the rectangle. Well, if I'm working with the rectangle, let me go ahead and write the formula. Area of a rectangle is equal to length, I'll actually write it out, times width. So if we know the formula, let's just plug in what we know. Let's go ahead and plug in what we know. Area, I'll abbreviate it A for short, you'll see me do that later on, is equal to our length. And which one do I pick as my length? It's up to you whether you want the eight or the three. Uh, they're interchangeable. Length and width are interchangeable. It's completely, completely up to you. I, I normally like to pick the longer one for my length. So I'll go ahead and pick eight centimeters eight centimeters and we are going to multiply that by uh, our width and our width over here is obviously the other one three centimeters well let's go through and actually do the work a for area is equal to eight times three well that's 24 and when we multiply centimeters times centimeters we get centimeters to the second power that is going to be our final final answer there again 24 centimeters that is representing the space inside of this rectangle um, if you had a little block that measured one centimeter by one centimeter you would be able to fill in this entire rectangle with 24 of those that's basically what it's representing uh, what about a triangle um, the area of a triangle is equal to half the product of the base and the height what does that mean what does that mean what does that mean um, so here's the formula area of sorry area formula of a triangle is one half base times height Basically, again, what we're doing here is we're taking our base, right? taking the bottom of this triangle, that is our B, and we're multiplying it by the height. Make sure that you get the height. Don't count your height diagonally. No, you do not count your height diagonally. Uh, it should be straight up and down. Okay. Once we multiply those two together, what we're going to do is we're just going to take half of that. That is what the formula uh, for area of a triangle is. And why, why, why is it this? Well, if you think of base and height as like your length times your width, right? That would give us length times width is the area for a square over a rectangle. Well, what happens if I just take half of it? If I cut it in half, well, I end up here with a triangle, right? We can see that we have a triangle. So it's almost it's almost the same as right uh, a square or a rectangle, length times width, base times height, but you do take half of it to create a triangle out of it. So let's get practice with that. Uh, so find the area of the triangle. Because I'm working with a triangle, I'm going to go ahead and write the formula. Area 
is equal to one half our base times our height, right? One half base times height. Let's go ahead and fill in what we know. Uh, so I'm going to write A for area is equal to one half. What is going to be my base? Well, the base is the bottom down here of this triangle. I actually have to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is going to be six. And I'm going to write units, six units. So that's going to be a six. And I'm going to do the same thing here, but with the height. Uh, and again, be careful with your height. You do not want to count diagonally for your height of a triangle. Uh, we want from the very top to the very bottom, straight down perpendicular. So I'm going to count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven units. They don't tell me centimeters, feet, inches. So I'm going to go ahead and say units. So I'm going to go ahead and put seven after this. Normally, when we find the area of a, uh, of a triangle, we do like to multiply the base and the height first. We normally leave that one half uh, till the very end. So I'm going to write A for area is equal to, and again, I'm saving the one half for the very end. I'm going to multiply my base times my height. Almost think of that like your length times your width. Well, 6 times 7 is going to give us 42. Now, I just have to take half of that because right now that 42 would be... Um, the area of a rectangle. Um, if I take half of it, I would create a triangle. So let's go ahead and multiply by one half or just take half of 42. You can multiply it out if you like or just take half, divide by two. Area is going to equal, well, 42 divided by two is 21. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say 21 units squared to the second power. Again, they didn't tell us feet, centimeter, inches. Uh, so that's why we leave it to units squared all right uh now let's talk about area of a circle so the area of a circle is equal to the radius so what is the radius the radius is the distance from the center of your circle all the way to the outside so be careful not to confuse that with diameter diameter they'll use the letter d for diameter it's the distance all the way across uh, from one side going through the center to the other side of your circle. Radius is only half of that, right? It's just from the center to the outside. So we take that radius and we take it to the second power. We square it. Once we do that, we just simply multiply by pi, uh, by 3.14. That will give us, again, the space inside of this circle, all right? So let's go through and practice one of those. Uh, so this one says, find the area of the circle. So I do want to find the space inside of the circle. Uh, but I do want to write my answer in two different ways. You you will get you have to get comfortable writing the answer in two different ways. It says write the answer in terms of pi, and this was this was a typo here, uh, not pi as in the pi we eat, uh, pi as in 3.14 as in the symbol pi. Okay, so we do want to leave our answer in terms of pi, not pi the pi that we eat. But this should be the actual symbol for pi. Okay, this symbol here. So we're going to want to write our answer in terms of pi. So I'll show you guys how to do that. And then, of course, we also want our answer as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundred. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. If I'm working with area of a circle, let me write the formula down. Area of a circle. What's the formula? It's equal to pi r to the second power. Let's fill in what we know. Let's fill in what we know. I'm going to write a for area is equal to pi. I'll leave it as pi. Let's see if I can figure out what my radius is. Well, the radius is from the center to the outside. What they give us here, d is equal to 16, is actually the diameter. It's the distance all the way across. So what's the radius then, right? If the radius is from the center to the to one side, that's just going to be half of 16. 16 divided by 2 is going to give us 8. Our r, our radius, is going to be 8. So I'm going to say pi, I'm going to put in 8, and then we're going to take that to the second power. Well, let's go ahead and take 8 to the second power. We can actually multiply that out. A is equal to pi times 8 to the second power. That's 8 times 8, which is 64. Now, take a look at the first part, or first way that they want us to write our answer. They want us to leave our answer in terms of pi, which is pretty much this. Pi times 64, uh, you want to think of pi like a variable. Uh, what is, imagine if this was like x times 64, how would you write that? You would write it as 64 pi or 64x. That is our answer right there in terms of pi, 64 pi 
uh, would be would be would be the area of this circle 64 pi units squared so that is one way that they want us to leave our answer they also want us to leave our answer okay as a decimal rounded to the nearest hundred so how do i also give that answer you actually have to go through and multiply area is equal to 64 times pi uh, just so that we're consistent i do want you guys to use 3.14 instead of pi, the, the actual pi key on your calculator, just so that we can all be consistent. I, I do want you guys to use 3.14. Uh, so let's go ahead and multiply those together. Area is equal to, I am going to need my calculator. I, it's still going to be a pretty large number. What is 64 times 3.14? That gives me 200.96, and it's actually already to the nearest 100. Uh, so that would be my second answer. Uh, in terms of writing my answer as a decimal, All right? So both of these mean the exact same thing. One answer is just in terms of pi, the other one is the decimal version of it.